Hello, greetings to the readers of the Journal of Number Theory. My name is byung Do Kim of Victoria University of Wellington. Today, I want to present my work, which will appear in the said journal. Uh, the title is the two variable periodic functions of modular forms for non-ordinary primes. So first, what is a periodic L function? Um, the most classical, uh, most classical example uh, is the kubota leopold periodic L function, which appeared historically first. Um, for them, a periodic L function was a periodically analytic function which interpolates, meaning uh, it is equal, uh, more or less, to the special values of uh, Dirichlet L functions. Today, uh, we will adopt the point of view of Iwasawa, which is a more modern and more prevalent point of view, which is that a periodic L function uh, is a periodic power series which interpolates the special values of the L functions. For example, uh, for example, for Iwasawa, uh, the kubota leopold L function was in turn uh, a transform of a special kind of periodic power series with integral coefficients. Ideally, the coefficients of a periodic uh, L function are integral, but normally they're not necessarily integral. To define a periodic L function for elliptic curves, uh, which are uh, my major application, it is important to know uh, the reduction types of primes. So for, for example, uh, for an elliptic curve over a number field k, uh, we say the elliptic curve E has ordinary reduction at p uh, if the dual isogeny of the piece of p Frobenius is separable, and if it's not separable, then we say the prime p has a reduction type of super singular uh, or non ordinary. Uh, an easier and more accessible definition of ordinary and super singular or equi equi equivalently non ordinary um, is the following. There's the famous coefficient a sub p, which is 1 plus, uh, 1 plus the norm of p minus the number of uh, number of points of the reduced curve modulo p. If it is prime to p, uh, the residue characteristic of p, then we say uh, p is ordinary, and if it's not, then we say p has super singular slash non ordinary reduction time. Whether ordinary or super singular, uh, Maser and Swinton Dyer constructed. Their famous periodic L functions of elliptic curves, uh, which can be also applied to modular forms. We will, um, I will skip the construction part and the more detailed part to save time. Um, but basically, what they constructed was a power series, periodic power series of one variable x, uh, which interpolates the uh, has veil L functions of the given elliptic curve and uh, they constructed the periodic L functions for the ordinary reduction primes and also as well as the super singular non-ordinary reduction primes. The crucial difference between the ordinary and super singular in this case uh, is that for the ordinary reduction primes the power series has an integral uh, integral coefficient, whereas for super singular slash non ordinary primes, the power series does not have uh, integral or bounded coefficient. Well, after Maser and Swinton Dyer's work, and more recently, uh, there have been important works by other people. Uh, in particular, uh, pa Robert Paula um, and also Florian Sprung and David Leffler and so on and so on and so on. But again, uh, in the interest of time, 
uh, I will skip. I'll, I will skip this part. So what is my work? Um, to explain my work, uh, I need to put it in the context of Ida's work. Ida constructed two variable PLL functions, or uh, attached to uh, attached to elliptic curves, more generally much mod uh, modular forms. And um, his work is um, as follows. First of all, uh, unlike measuring certain dial case, his piadic L function interpolates not the Hasse-Weil uh, L function, but the ranking convolutions of the given uh, of the given modular form f and um, the the theta series of the character. Phi, where phi uh, is a final character of, uh, of the ZP2 expansion of the given imaginary quadratic field. Uh, he does work, uh, what is notable about he does work is that first, uh, first he does work is for uh, the ordinary primes, ordinary, ordinary reduction primes, which means that the, uh, the free AP uh, Free, uh, p three a coefficient of f is a piadic unit. Um, his work, if you read his paper carefully, uh, his work is written in terms of certain integration uh, of, over the Galois group of the imaginary quadratic field, um, but which is roughly translated uh, into saying that it is a two-variable piadic power series. Um, so, I built up on Hida's, found, Hida's work, so I used Hida's work as a foundational idea and um, I put into some of my uh, ideas to construct a, P, a two variable piadic L function for uh, elliptic curves, more generally uh, modular forms over an imaginary quadratic field satisfying certain conditions. So what are these conditions? Um, first of all, f must be an eigenform of weight k bigger, uh, bigger than or equal to 2 and uh, this is a crucial condition. Um, the the piadic valuation of a sub p of f must be smaller than 1 and k must be an imaginary quadratic, imaginary quadratic field and um, another crucial condition is that p, the prime p must split completely over k under those conditions in the paper that I mentioned, uh, the, the paper which will appear in the Journal of Number Theory, I constructed two variable PADL functions, uh, let's say L of x1, x2, which interpolate the ranking convolution of the given f and the theta series, theta series of the finite characters of the ZP2 extension of the given imaginary quadratic field. Uh, the crucial difference between one of the crucial differences between my um, my function and Hida's function um, is that my function, even though it is in all aspects analogous to Hida's work, my uh, function does not have integral bounded uh, coefficients, but rather even though the periodic norms of the coefficients grow, their growth, their growth is completely controlled by the periodic variation of a sub p of f. Um, so the keen readers, the keen uh, readers might, no, uh, might notice that there's a strong condition, which is that the the piadic valuation VP of AP uh, must be smaller than 1 
and you might think that and therefore my my construction does not apply to elliptic curves uh, defined over the rational numbers because they have uh, v sub p of a p uh, bigger than or equal to one if it has if it has um, super singular reduction at p but that is not quite so because uh, first of all let's say f of f sub e is a new form associated to the elliptic curve and it, this is a standard uh, standard stuff stand, standard procedure um, and um, the fault the next sentence is also quite standard which is called uh, the stabilization process so when alpha and alpha bar are the roots of the Hecke Euler polynomial of x squared minus a sub p x plus p equals to zero let's say f sub alpha is f sub e of z minus alpha bar f sub e of p z so this is a stabilized um, stabilized eigen form which is an old form old form of the level p times n where n is a conductor of e so in this way we can construct we can um, find an eigenform, which is an old form by the way, associated to the elliptic curve, but um, its, uh, its p3 coefficient has the periodic norm 1 half, which is smaller than 1, therefore my construction works for elliptic curves um, with the super singular reduction at p. Finally, uh, I want to thank uh, I want to thank a few people. First, I want to thank uh, Barry Mazur, who first suggested this problem to me, and I want to thank Matthew Emerton, uh, who was a great help when I was his postdoc and working on this problem. And uh, finally, I want to I want to thank David Leffler, uh, who read my draft, uh, made many good comments, and also shared is very important ideas. Uh, finally, I want to thank the readers and the listeners. Thank you for listening.